In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how a diode works and why you shouldn't do what I'm about to do. A diode is known for its ability to pass electricity in only one direction. It's almost like a check valve that allows water to flow in only one direction. And the schematic diagram looks something like what you see on top here. What I'm going to do is discharge this bank of capacitors into a diode so you can fully understand how these things work. And now what I have here is a bank of many capacitors wired in parallel and I've got them charged to about 200 volts. First I'm going to turn this diode around. I've got it marked so you can better understand what's happening. This is a positive terminal here. This is a negative terminal at 200 volts. And I'm going to carefully hold this across these two terminals. And if my calculation is correct, absolutely nothing happens. That's because no energy flows in this direction. Now if I was to turn this diode around, which is exactly what I'm going to do, and hold it across here, it's going to blow it up. This little black spot here, let me put some paper behind there so you can appreciate what's happening here. This little black, black spot in the middle there is going to blow. Oh man, that little piece of diode just struck me in the face and that kind of stung. That was a lot of power there, so I don't know if the camera could pick that up, but a little smoke in the room now and uh, quite a lot of power. This probably had a little bit more energy left in it, so I'm going to uh, discharge it one more time with my screwdriver. There we go. A little bit more smoke. Anyway, that should give you some understanding of how a diode works, something very memorable. Um, let me tilt the camera up a little bit here. Now when I work with electronics I have to test diodes on a regular basis and the best way to do it is to use a digital volt ohmmeter that has a diode check function on it. Diode check function allows you to audibly hear what's happening. For example, when I take this diode and I hook it across the junctions with my meter, you'll notice if I try it in one direction I get a quick beep and a reading on the scale, probably somewhere around 500 volts, or not 500 volts, 0.5 volts. This, from what I understand, shows you the voltage at which the diode starts to conduct. Now if I turn this diode back around the other way, you'll see there's no conduction whatsoever. So just remember a diode is like a valve, it allows current to flow in one direction. Now the other thing about diodes is when they go bad, often they're, they're the equivalent of a piece of wire. In other words, if I was to take my meter here, I hope it'll pick up the sound, touch these two together, you hear a constant beep. Now when I check a diode, if I hear a constant beep, I know there's a problem. I'm not supposed to. So what you'll hear is, in this direction is nothing. Again, you turn it around, you'll hear one quick beep, just letting you know it's conducting. Oops. And uh, that's actually a good diode. Now, transistors, when they go bad, they'll often short out in the same way a diode will and that you'll get a constant uh, like a short circuit between the different diode junctions for example when I hook this diode here up you can hear it shorted it stays on if it were a good diode I mean a good transistor rather I should be calling this a transistor it's not a diode if it were a good transistor you would hear one quick beep in one direction and nothing in the other between the different junctions so that's how you check diodes and transistors. Um, some diodes, or some transistors rather, I suppose they can open up in some cases, but generally when they go bad they'll actually short out internally and that's why your fuse blows on your TV set. Anyway, stay tuned.